everyone and welcome to my studio. Today I'm going to show you how to paint a really cute little brown bear, which would make a lovely gift for a child that's fond of bears, or a greetings card of course. If you're not confident with your drawing, you can download the sketch of this from our website dianeanton.com for free. So first of all I'm going to wet the entire outline of the bear with clean water. And once I've done that, I'm going to start painting him in quinacridone gold, which is a bright yellow colour, and I'm going to let that fill the entire area of the bear with the exclusion of his scarf, because this is going to form the underpainting for the bear. And once that's done, I'm going to come in with some burnt sienna, which is a nice golden brown and I'm going to go over the whole entire bear again on top of the um, quinacridone gold and I'm going to add some darker areas as well which is sepia uh, in the areas where the shadows are going to be most concentrated. And then having done that I'm going to let him sit for a few minutes and dry while I have a cup of tea. Now he's nice and dry and I'm coming back in with some more sepia, the dark brown, and I'm emphasizing the areas where the shadows are. So here it's between his two front paws, his two front legs, and around his uh, back and the back leg that's there on the side. And I'm just softening some of the uh, lines here. This is called Lost and Found, where you just soften with a thirsty brush the edges that you, don't, that you want to blend in to the rest of the painting. And just darkening a, a few of the areas and leaving some areas light as well, so you get some contrast between the back leg and the front leg there. So, so far we've only used three colours, so that's quinacridone gold, burnt sienna and sepia. Three different shades of warm brown. Painting around his ear now and emphasizing the shape of that. I'm doing the whole painting with a reasonably small brush. It's a, about a size 9 round synthetic. I've picked up some black and I'm just uh, painting in his nose and his eye, which is just a simple dot, and a little dab of uh, permanent rose pink for his ear. And I've decided to give him a nice uh, checkered scarf, so now I'm just coming in and painting in with a fine line, uh, a nice bright red colour, I think this is cadmium red. Uh, just to give him a touch of warmth around his neck on one of those cold winter's days. I'm sure the bear in the opening sequence would have been happy to have a scarf like this to wear. When he got out of the water, he must have been chilly. And I'm going to emphasise those uh, squares with a little bit of a dark colour there, just to, just to make it more interesting. <laughs> I'm just adding his claws here and uh, emphasizing his eye a little bit and now I'm just going to put in a quick line there for his little mouth to give him a nice smile a little bit more shadow behind his ear and then he's pretty much done oh mustn't forget the highlight in his eye with the white gel pen very important So I hope you enjoyed watching me paint this little bear. Uh, as I said, he's a lovely little creature and would make a nice gift for a child once you've added your own touches. If you did enjoy the video, don't forget to press like and to subscribe. 
and I look forward to seeing you here again soon. Happy painting. Bye for now. Bye bye.